Jenner from Next is out of his damn mind for challenging me with something so weird. And it's like, how do you, how do you get to creativity with starch? I've actually soaked the peas in a brine that had wasabi in it, a little wasabi and salt, in order to give them some spice. Kuzu starch does not have a flavor at all. It tastes like absolutely nothing. Um, it actually has a lot of health properties, so it is supposed to be good for strengthening your intestines. I don't know why my intestines need to be strong, but that's what kuzu starch is predominantly used for, and it is the alternative to using flour and other heavily processed starches like corn starch and others. So mostly the two starches that are used in Asian cuisine are arrowroot and kuzu in some forms. All right, now we're gonna do, do the morels. So my approach to using kuzu was basically acting as if it was another starch. I'm gonna do an English pea puree with kuzu starch. It'll be thickened with kuzu starch. I'm also going to do tempura fried morel mushrooms, which will also be done with kuzu starch as the, um, um, as the base. This will all be accompanied with pan seared sweet breads, which are dusted with kuzu starch. So we're putting kuzu starch on just about everything except for the couple of fresh ingredients. I have some pickle ramps and some golden pea shoots and it should turn out awesome. Sweetbreads, veal sweetbreads. This is the starch. It's our newfound friend. I'm gonna adjust this puree. Let's dry it on us a little bit. That's the weird thing about this damn starch. It dries fast. What do you cook a sweet bread to? Medium. Does that mean it's still pink in the middle or? Yes. Out of eight? Okay. Yeah, a little pink in the middle. Turbo. Golden pea shoots. You're not gonna get a look from them. That's the only problem. They don't show up. It's delicious. Now, keep in mind, I've already eaten this dish about five times already. Do you sense the starch anywhere? No, no, I, I've worked with this long enough where we decreased the starch enough to get what we wanted. So um, in the application, we really wanted to make sure that the, that the sauces and purees and that the breading cooked long enough so that the starch component of, of the kuzu cooked away but gave us the texture that we were looking for. She's amazing, the restaurant's great, and I think she will totally stand up to the challenge. And the ingredient that I've selected is Goya Duck clams. And they are a gnarly little beast. 